gonna do some Civilization 5. Civilization 5. For the fans. And uh, we're gonna see a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of frig a little bit later. <laughs> Is this bait? Maybe. Maybe not. What? Why would you want to meet my parents? I don't know that I want that. I'm because not sure. They're... They're... Because we're here. Yeah. And they can. Or they can at least say. I'm not sure about that. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. I have a few more. I... I think there's just like another game behind this. Best bait 2020. Yeah, I figured it's been a terrible year. We might as well finish the year, the terrible year, with a terrible experience and do some Civ 5 together. It's gonna be a uh, single player. I'm not dealing with um, Lek Mod rebalance patch from 20 years later. It just isn't worth it. So New Year's going backwards in time? No, I, I, the, the rationale Miota goes like this. 2020 was an awful year. Uh, the worst of the worst things happened all over the world in 2020. And as that final reminder of just how shitty a year can be, we're gonna play Civilization V on the last day of that year. All right, chat, what do you got for me? You guys have, it's pretty close. Russia is a little bit ahead. Oh, Russia and Spain are tied. All right, chat, you gotta vote. Maybe I gave you guys too many options. All right, are we gonna re-vote with just like the, the top three then? Okay, top three right now by a lot are Russia, Spain, then a huge drop down to Poland and then nothing. Like, no one wants to see Aztec, Maya, or Korea. All right. So Spain, Russia, Poland. All right. Let's get that. Let's get tier two poll done. All right. So we're playing Russia. Can't go wrong with Russia. We are playing as Catherine. All right. We'll start like this. When it inevitably blocks something, we'll move it around later. All right. Looks like a pogger start. Well, um, in Hellblazer map, every start looks like this. Pretty much. So I, one of the things I always have hated about Legendary Start... Uh, resources, especially with all the strategic balance on, is that by moving at all, you run the risk of moving away from all your good stuff, which is crazy. Don't move off the hill, correct. We want to stay on a hill. On a hill, on a river is a pretty good spot. You can get some more information with our um, warrior by moving here. It's about the only spot that gives us any information for a move. So let's do that. Let's see what we get. Another cow up there if we dump, dip down into here. Having the hills in your inner layer is very nice, especially since we're very likely to get iron. I mean, if you think of it here, iron on one of these tiles versus that tile is basically where we're going to get iron. So get that early hammer. And it is Russia hammers too, right? So uh, iron is going to be good. Problem is, moving there, we might move down our horses. I hope we don't have fucking river horses. Do your eyes deceive you? Yeah. Well, take our time, chat. Have a think, think about it. This isn't Flatland Pearls. Uh, desert Flatland Pearls. Nobu is the dream start, of course. All right. There we go. So what do we luck into here? So we kept a citrus closer. An extra early citrus is kind of nice, honestly. Since uh, presumably we will be doing trades with the AI nonstop. Found a hidden stone that would have been in our border still. But yeah. is this on standard? Oh, fuck, it might be on standard speed. If it's on standard speed, oh shit, it is. All right, rip the start. Good call, good call, chat. Uh, we can play against AI on standard speed. Do we want to? Standard speed is kind of the worst. Anything less than quick is kind of the worst. Rip it. All right. Rip it. Okay. Midnight. You guys think I'm taking my time with this? Sure. All right, chat. I love the I love the silver settle here uh, for one turn. Probably worse for one turn. Especially since I don't have to work it again. A kind. Do we do any scouting to make that easier? For example, I guess we want to see what we're moving away from. So I guess moving right with the warrior gives us some information. Middle bottom hill. No, see the middle bottom hill doesn't. So think about this. All right, chat. You guys want a quick Civ 5 lesson here? If we're thinking about just this, we want minimum turns to settle because the sooner we settle, the sooner we start producing. We want to land on a hill if possible, just in general because of the production and the defensive bonus, but specifically here because all of our river tiles are hill tiles as well. Um, if we move our warriors south to scout, we don't really change anything, right? We're never going to move down with the settler ever because we're never going to move away from this river system to settle. We're either settling in place or here. I don't know what I'd have to see down here to settle down here, but it'd have to be something crazy, especially with strategic uh, resources on and um, legendary start, right? So we know we're gonna have iron in here. So really the consideration for me, I think, is either right here in place or one up with a small nod towards deer for observatory, but I really don't wanna settle deer if I can avoid it. So I think the only thing that changes my information is either I move to the silver and see something terrible over there, or I move to this silver and see something amazing over here that I'm moving away from. I think those are the only things that determine my movement here, right? So for that perspective, I think I'm going up. Called Zempt for advice. I haven't spoken to Zempt in some time. Yeah. If I settle in place, you will grow faster. 
Uh, do you mean if I work the bison? Yes, kinda. Is it still two turns of bison and one turn of another one to grow on turn three? I think it probably is, we'll see. If I move to silver, yes. Moving to silver, you might miss stuff below me. Yeah, I suppose you're right. There is some argument for that too, I guess. Scouting there, because I might miss that third ring. There we go. All right, this is the rename request. Hopefully the mod blocks such names, but let's take a look. S, lowercase s. No, it's not even, it's apostrophe lowercase s. This is a city name chat, like that, okay. Easy to remember. We got. I want to see what Google has to say about this. It would probably block me from searching. It's like, do I want to search this with safe mode off, or are we still okay? Schravenhagen. <laughs> say it again. Schravenhagen. Yeah. Schravenhagen. I like her. I like her voice better. Let's try this, guys. Schravenhagen. He just sounds angry. Schravenhagen. Skravenhaga. Okay. All right. Skravenhaga. So you actually pronounce the silent S. I don't know what I want to do here yet, chat. Monument or um, second second scout has some value in this game. Meeting the AI is good for trading in particular. Um, we haven't seen a rune yet. Could go monument, but it feels a little greedy as tradition. We can freebie monument. It's just a bit slow to do that. Or we could go grab a worker. Generally, workers are super powerful early, but I'd really, really prefer to steal it. You're on monument? I think I might be on second scout. Having some escort units might be nice too. All right. All right. I always want to know. It's always a little bit greedy grabbing the second scout, but I want to know, you know? Easy growth. All right, we do get a Pantheon. That's a nice start. All right, what are we doing for Pantheon? So one more turn of production on the scout, which is nice. We can go back to growing here. It makes it two turns. Can we get one here? We'd have to leave it a turn with no growth. We get the scout next turn. It might actually be worth. There's probably an optimal way to play in a single player, but I really don't know what it is. What do we want for Pantheons? So what are our options here? Uh, what do you guys think about culture from shrines? Seems like a powerful one. Uh, faith from desert tiles is always good for religion. I don't really want to compete with the AI for religion and there's no faith in our capital from that. So it seems pretty useless. Faith from copper, iron, and salt. These these Pantheons change every single like balance patch ever. So it's really difficult to remember what the hell they do. These are just base ones. Utility rights. God of Craftsmen, God of Open Sky, Requires Pastures, and Gems and Pearl Resource. All right, so the ones that are standing out to me right now actually are God King, because it's just that hammer boost right now, which would be nice. Culture Hammer right now. It's kind of a weak pantheon because it gets no no synergy with ever expanding again, but still. And other than that, it's probably the God and Silver one, or maybe if we're really greedy, the Desert Folklore. There's no food on God King, is there? So Faith per turn, it's not going to get us anywhere. The gold per turn is nice, but not super essential early. The hammer is nice. The science is irrelevant right now, and the culture is really nice. So we get, essentially, God King gives us the yield of the Silver Pantheon to start with. I guess when we start spamming Settlers, though, we can get some serious value out of um, the, the Religious Idols, because we will be able to work three Silver spamming Settlers. I think that's going to push it over for me. God King per city? No, it's just your capital, because it's based off the palace. Five camps? I'm not... I think... It's going to be a while before I get camps online. The first thing I'm going to improve um, when I get going on this is going to be uh, the mining tile so I can spam cities, right? When you're working settlers, you don't need food. The food conversion rate isn't quite as good as the production conversion rate, so you want to work more hammers oh, than you do food. Stole. Kevin Horse with the 1K bits. Thank you very much, man. Seen the god of Civ. I'm like, um, you know how like some of the coolest like fantasy gods are essentially their gods are like their strength of the god is based on their worshippers. So like, and gods in those type of worlds often die because they get, they get essentially their wor their worshippers get beaten, well, they get forgotten, and their power declines. Think of it that way. Think of it, we're like a very old Civ god, and like we're just like being like slowly awakened and having to remember all the shit that we don't remember. So it's been a while, is my point. So don't expect godlike play, but thank you for that compliment. Shonald Trump. That's a name I don't see too often. How's life, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope your 2020 was survivable and moving on to 2021. And it's good to see you, man. Breakfast drink of choice. We are close to doing some alcoholic beverages. I was hoping to wait till noon my time, which is 45 minutes away. We'll see. All right, so I think we're taking gold and silver. It was quite a decision, but here we are. All right. I didn't call myself the goddess of. I was responding to a chat comment. Thanks, dehydrogenase. Uh-oh. See, we've, we've infected other people in the chat with whatever language this is, and now they can't stop, but they can't help but say it. 
It's a single player, multiplayer, single player. All right, and this is probably a worker. Could be a monument, could be a monument, but I think it's gonna be a worker. We just picked up a um, culture pantheon and we are playing, we're gonna play tradition. So I think what we're gonna do is try to greed legalism. It's a bit long. But, okay, that tile does what I need it to do. Yeah, there's the fucking worker. Okay, so we just got screwed, chat. So we moved from here to here to watch this worker because I wasn't sure if they'd go horses or cattle first. It's fine that they've gone horses here, but the problem is the worker runs into the city when the barb approaches in a moment. So, this is your Christmas present for me? Yes, yes it is. All right, so we're a little crowded in here, although no neighbor to our east can be nice too. All right, we did grow here. It grew where we wanted to because we production focused. A granary in here would be nice in a minute. I still want to just max grow. So worker's still one turn out. That's fine. We probably need a blocker unit there soon. Okay. I don't think anyone else has met Lassa yet, so... Uh, they'll buy my embassy for one. Wait, wait. I never remember which way. My items accept embassy. Their items, one gold per turn. That's fine. Okay. Someone else got a Pantheon. There's the... Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe they don't run yet. I think they run, though, right? They run this turn. And I can't get there. Dude, look at that. Is there any way to utilize that? I don't even think there's a way to utilize that. Can't use it, though. It's all one one tile off, right? Yeah, I could coastal settle up there, for sure. I mean, I mean, I know there's... Chat, I understand there is a tile that I could settle a city on if I were so inclined. I'm, I am aware of that. Yep. Thanks, thank you for the uh, the help. All right, I think I want to go to pop four and then get a work settler out. If they settle the city ahead of me, though, it's going to be super, super salt inducing. They won't move and attack, right? So what I should really do here is just fortify around. It's fine. Okay. Another city state down here. What do we have for money? Oh, this is AI too. We should be fucking purchasing shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Um, Can we do anything differently then? If we assume, what's the first worker? 220? 220. Kind of a ways away. I'd like to buy the silver instead. Filthy playing Civ 5 without salt is boring. You only watch me for my my dismay. My dismay is part of my charming personality. Hey! Hey! I'm not gonna tolerate that. Compliments on my stream? Absolutely not. Alright, another worker out. Hit pop four. Great. Uh, we grow next turn. Uh, we're gonna chop that. We're gonna buy this tile. We grow. Oh, we grew this turn. I wanted it to grow to the culture one. I could have bought iron one turn early since I'm going to buy anyways to get one more hammer out of that, which probably would have been fine. But I want to build settlers right now. So where do we want to work this for? So what is our current yield, current production on this? Just in time. Where does it tell me? Progress towards five turns, minus 10. Where does it actually tell me my fucking production? No production listed there. Awesome. Game. All right, chat, where am I missing? Where's the actual production listed here? It's been too long. There, the bottom left. 12 production for that. All right. I want both these tiles, starting with that tile. We're actually going to get that improved like immediately. Let's grab that. So it goes to 12. 16. Okay. Quick radar. It's fine. Let's get in there and start improving our iron. All right. I want to go east here. So Siam being so close is going to be a bitch. Okay. What else? 187 gold right now. I want to get this next one worked on. I don't have to do it immediately. But I also have this guy, right? So it's going to be units over here somewhere, though. Oh, maybe they've fucked off and gone somewhere else. It's kind of nice. All right, let's get this online, too, for next turn. This guy can chop. No escort for my settler. Definitely want to work different tiles. That one's fine. I want to work one more tile. We're going to grow there automatically. We're not going to grow here, I don't think. All right, so this is 16 production, brings it to 17. Still working one that could be better. But I like the culture yield out of that. I wonder if I should have I wonder if I should have done that. Uh, do we chop for the worker, the settler? We can come back to chop this. I could just get this silver going immediately for that one hammer. I mean, it's a big boost though. It's like 13 or something, right? I probably should chop. Never chop. You always, well, never chop is definitely wrong, right? Because like this tile right here, the yield stays exactly the same if I chop or not. So what happens for chopping is I spend two turns with the worker to chop it, and I gain 13 hammers. There's a stage in the game where my total yield is 17. So I almost get an entire turn out of chopping out of that. And the base yield of that tile is identical after the chop. So we're definitely not right there. It's definitely not right to never chop. Cheers, chat. I was particularly efficient with that. I opened that beer while peeing. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the? Gotta have those small wins in life. 2020's been a rough year. All right. 
Am I drinking? This is a local beer. So I'm down in Florida visiting my parents. And this beer is called a Skyway Highway, excuse me, a Skyway Hazy Double India Pale Ale. So they have the Skyway Bridge down here. I'm in St. Petersburg. And um, this is a local brewery, the Green Bench Brewery. And it's a Hazy Double IPA. TOA might be worth considering. TOA is pretty nice, but um, we're going to be ultra greedy here and grab Petra, right? Actually, chat, what happens with this? Does the worker poke its head out, see me, and then poke its head back in? Or does the worker poke its head out, repair? AI doesn't make partial moves. That's what I thought. Okay, so we're good. All right, GPT from hell has ended. Grown to horses. Great. One more turn here. Enjoying it? Fond memories? Yeah. Not something I do very often, I don't think. But I am also having fun right now. Been a long time since we played it, and it is a really good game. All right, grow there. Let's work that tile. Move into the city for healing. Looking for one more worker skill, I think. Oops. Nostalgia, exactly. All right, we're growing to a production tile. We will go unhappy doing it. Am I okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's get a watermill. How close are we to potentially petering? Quite a while, unfortunately. We'll take production in that city. One more turn on happiness there. You can heal. Let's walk one closer, start shooting that. We've got an archer here. All right, I'm gonna send this archer. Ah, we'll get shot doing this. I could just piece this fucking city state. Chat, 2020 would not be complete without internet issues. So as a tribute to all of my internet issues this year, I'm going to briefly restart the stream. I'm going to reboot the router here because we're having some uh, internet issues at this location. I'll be back in just a moment. I hate doing this on a live, but I do think it is fairly thematic for the year. So, all right, chat, I'm back. All right, do we need to bring this game to its conclusion, chat? Like, honestly, I mean, we certainly can. I mean, it is physically capable, but it doesn't... I mean, are we expecting any deviations from this moment? We're in a fine position. We haven't been bothered. Normally, the way you lose these games are you either don't get enough space, you get eaten by... Like, you get overly... You get repeatedly aggressed by AI, so you spend too much of your production building military units, or there's a runaway sieve. I don't think any of those things have happened. Maybe Hiawatha is in a runaway position, but I don't think so. What are my alternatives? Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure it's... I will beat everyone in space here. And I don't think I can be pressured from here. We've got plenty of production. Our cities are fine. We're dug in. We've got units. I mean, we played a game. We've essentially won this game. We can hit end term for the next fucking 40 turns. But this is why I don't play Civ 5 single player in the first place, right? And it was kind of fun getting back into it. I really enjoy the first turn settle. And then I enjoy figuring out our cities. And after that, I don't enjoy anything in the Civ 5 um, single player. The mod makes it a little bit better. But it still just feels... I just feel like it's so... My I feel like my options are so clearly telegraphed as what I should be playing. This was a great game, like five years ago, six years ago, whatever the fuck it was. And it's it remains a fun game in some in some ways. It's certainly better in a Civ 6, but I'm bored right now. Like I got to the point where I'm like, eh, don't care anymore. About to stop playing Civ? Yeah. This was a throwback. This was a, so many people asking about this over so long, playing one more game of Civ for all, all you all today on New Year's. When I think of Cyber Glitch 2077, it wasn't particularly glitchy for me. The game was fun until I understood the systems and then it was really boring. Why would you want to meet my parents? I don't know that I want that. I'm because not sure. They're... Because we're here. Yeah. And they can. Or they can at least say. I'm not sure about that. I'll think about that. I'll say hello. Oh, you're going to say hi. hi. All right. Are you doing... so hi, everyone. <laughs> and uh... What's your number one regret in life? Having you, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a that, given, right? That is, yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. And I hope 2021 is a lot better than 2020. There you go. And this is a gin and tonic. <laughs> yes, the best thing. Is your mom coming next? I don't know. Aww. Don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. Never again. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. That was really sweet. I know. Hello, everyone. I know. That was funny. Happy yeah, New I'm Year. Happy All right. Love, Love you. you. How do you feel about me streaming for a profession? Oh, I think And how did you I'm feel so initially? Proud of you. I was scared about you. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Love oh, you. That wasn't that bad. It was only 450 people. Is that all? Yeah. yeah. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I'll be a big streamer. Yeah, mom. <laughs>